Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a full step-by-step -step guide today showing you how to fit a new aircon condenser on this 2008 Peugeot 207. Obviously we're using a two-poster ramp today. It does make the job a little bit easier, um, but it's not too bad to do without. All I'd do if I was doing it there is just jack it up quite high on the front, both sides, um, just to get a decent bit of access, just to get underneath. It's just you need to take the bumper off to replace it, that's all. Now I'll just show you before we get into the video, obviously we've got a brand new aircon condenser. If you check out links in the description below, I'll put links to the condenser and all the tools that we're using as well. Um, before we put it up in there and get started, I'll just show you, we've got two aircon ports. We've got the low pressure one there, high pressure one there. These would usually have caps on them. Um, but this one's actually got a big leak from the condenser. There's no gas in it at all, so I haven't got to worry about degassing it before starting. But if you want to just check, you can just use like a little flat braided screwdriver and just push on the little straighter valve, just give it a little dab and just to check whether you've got any pressure in there or not. So there's nothing there, in there at all on this one. So um, just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. We've got quite a, few, quite a few other videos on there you might want to check out. Um, but the first thing we're going to do, we need to get the bumper off. We've got four torque screws just across the front, just a little T20 torques on there you want to want to use to get them off. So we'll get them off now. I'll put it up in the air. We'll just run you through what we need to get off on the under tray side of things. And then we're going to be needing to sort of just get the wheels in the lock and just take some of the arch liner back to get some of the bumper bolts there. So and we'll just take them four off across the front now Then we'll run you through the next step after that. So just coming up underneath, it is a little bit beaten up this one, so it's got a lot of these trims that have been put on with cable ties. Um, but basically these trims on the outside, there's got a little clip there. All you need to do with that is just use like a little flat bladed screwdriver. It's just a rivet, you can basically flip, flip down the centre there so that you can then pop that clip out there. It's obviously got cable tie on the front there, but basically going to need to detach these bits. This is part of the arch liner, You're just going to need to detach them bits from where it connects to the bumper. Along the bumper, we've got a few 10mm bolts at the front. Again, both of these on this one are actually broke off, so I haven't even got to undo them. I might just try and repair them with a hot staple gun later if I can, but actually that side and that side's broken already on this one. Normally I'd undo them too. Obviously on this this same bracket as the other side there, part of the arch landing again, just attach that clip there and the one at the back there. And it's actually a cable tie again there. Um, but that should really be all the clips that we're going to have to detach from underneath. Once we've done that, we're going to be dropping it down. I'm going to just see if we can get the arch liner off, leaving the wheels on. And we'll just turn them in the lock just to give us a bit of access. Um, but there's some torque screws. You just stick one up there on the inside. Um, just might need to get a few of them off so we can get the arch liner out of the way. And then I'll just show you the fixings on the inside of the bumper there to start getting the bumper off. So just for now, I'll just get these bits off underneath. Then we'll move on to the next bit after that. I'm also just going to take the under tray down on this one. Again, this one's quite badly beaten up. It's got a lot of cable ties on it. And on this side here, someone's actually put like a little, a few self tappers to hold it through as well. But this under tray attaches to there. Normally it'd be with some different fixings through these points, but really probably be easy if you could just take the under tray off as well. So now that we've got the arch slider bolt out there, you can just pull these a little bit, it's going to be a little bit tight to get it on camera. You can just pull the arch liner just down, just out of the way a little bit. And if you come in on the inside, basically just on this section there, on the top of each one, 
10 mil bolt there and 10 mil bolt there obviously there's not a lot of room in there but it's not too bad you can get a fair bit of room compared to some jobs um, but basically just got a little ratchet something like that size with a 10 mil on it and you can do it be a little bit hard to film it all but you can just get your hand in there and basically undo the two 10 mils there i'm just going to do this side and then i'm going to go around and do the other side after that Two bolts out on that side. You'll just see once you've got them undone, just give it a sort of little tug and you'll just see that it'll just pop it off. But I'm just gonna sort of leave it in for now. Basically get the other side off and then obviously juggling juggling it off uh, on your own. You sort of just pop it off or sort of keeping juggling hold of the bumper and just work it around. As we do get it off, there's gonna be a couple of connectors for the fog lights to undo and there might be a couple of clips just holding some wiring on as well. Um, we'll just get the other side off for now and then show you getting the bumper off. Now you can just see that side was a little bit more awkward to do um, but I do try and make my videos as realistic as possible and um, just put you in the situation of sort of normal situations that you're going to come across um, three bolts did come out quite nicely um, but on that side the, the back one was just seized in basically the captive nut part of it the, the bolt was just rusted solid and I couldn't get it out so what I've had to do there is just take the arch liner just out the way a bit more to give me a decent bit of access Luckily, I've just been able to get some more grips on there and just grip the centre, the centre of that there, and just pretty much just snap the bolt, that's all. So all I'll have to do is obviously you can get a new captive nut and just simply slide it over. Um, but also what I'm going to do tonight, because I ain't got one of them, unless I can find one, is just simply put a nut and bolt for it, that's all. So. Uh, but now that, that, we should be able to drop it back down. We should be able to get the bumper off now. Right, so just as I was saying earlier on, I'm just going to pop that side out and just sort of try and keep it nice and even to juggle, juggle it down. Um, but there's going to be a couple of connectors to get off just for the fog lights. And um, I'll let you know if there's anything else on there. But we'll just get the bumper off for now. So now I've got the bumper out of the way, you can see it's fairly straightforward. And um, basically you can just flick them two sides off and it does sort of hook on the centre there. So you can just sort of, um, just on the centre bits there, just on them pieces there, they actually just hook over some little locating pegs just there. And it just allows it that sort of hold it on so you can just flick them off last. And the only connectors we had to undo were just a simple two pin one on that side, just flick the tab up there to get it off. And then just the fog light to bulb connector on that side again just flick the little tab up and pull it off so uh, but now at this stage we can see the aircon condenser so we've got a couple of 10 mil nuts to get off on each pipe just one do both of them one at the top one at the bottom 
And I'm just trying to be careful with these. I'm just going to undo them and then just work the pipes out. But you just want to be gentle, just work them a little bit to get them off. So I'll just do that next. And then we'll show you how to get the condenser out and swap that over. Right, so now I've got both of them pipes out. So I took quite a bit of time working them because they get really tight in there. Uh, the top one just come out with a bit of working. Um, I've had a bit of a problem with the bottom one. I've had this issue before. And it's actually been, this, this pipe has actually rotted that badly in there that when I've got it off the end of the pipe, it's just rotted off and snapped off in the actual condenser itself. So it's actually gonna have, it's gonna have to have this pipe as well on this one. Um, see on that one, it was really tight, I couldn't separate it. And sometimes it can just help if you just back this stud off. You can just use a little e-torque socket. You can just back it off to sort of start cracking it off that's all to get it out. But see how badly rotted it is sort of in there. So um, but all I'll do for tonight is just carry on. We'll still fit the condenser, put everything else back together. Um, but the next thing we're ready to do is just get the condenser out. And basically all that's holding it in at the minute is these two plastic locators at the top. It just slots in at the bottom on some rubber bungs. And um, what we need to do in each of these, just in either side, is a little plastic lug. And you just need to use a little flat blade screwdriver, quite a thin one. You can just get it in, you can just pry it back. As you're doing it, just put a little bit of sort of force on it, pulling it backwards, and you'll clip one side out at a time. So I'll just do that now, and then just show you getting them out. And just see there. That's the little probes that you're just looking to sort of pry back out of the way, that's all. That's all I'm going to do now, just slot the new condenser in, just have a check of it, make sure it's right against the old one. Um, obviously I've just made sure that the two rubbers are located back in the bottom there but I'll just slot it in over the top just be kept just try and be quite careful so you can damage it quite easily so and then I'll put the locators on the top clip it back into place and we'll just get the pipe swapped over I'm just going to see if I can just salvage the bottom one with a seal you never know it might hold the pressure um, but we'll have a go at that anyway so we'll just pop this new one in for now So now that that's all built back and clipped in, just going to refit the pipes. I've just swapped the studs over, come with some new studs with a new condenser. Now, the, it did come with a couple of seals in the kit, but they weren't actually the right ones. This has got like a double seal on there. Luckily, they don't look in too bad a condition. It is ideal to sort of swap them if you can at this stage. Um, but I'm going to refit them, gas it up, and just see if it does hold the pressure. So, um, Obviously, the top pipe's still okay. Now, I've just used one of the new seals just on that outer edge there i'm just going to try and try and fit that tonight just well just to sort of close it up but i'm not not really got my hopes up i think pretty sure we're gonna to have to replace that pipe there so um but we'll have a go with that anyway and basically i'll just be rebuilding it now exactly as we took it apart um obviously i'll just fly through this stage a little bit quicker um but that's the basic replacement of the aircon condenser i just thought i'd put the video together in case it helped anyone in the same situation if you want to have a go at replacing theirs and obviously you could use the video um, just if you want to take the bumper off if you've got anything else to replace as well so um, but yeah I'll just crack on and fly through the video now putting it back together
Right, so that's all fully built up now. The, air, the aircon condenser's all been replaced. Next thing we need to do now is just simply regas the aircon. Uh, I've got a machine to do it myself. If you haven't got that, there are some sort of self-fill kits that you can get, um, but really they're not the best. Really, you do want to be going to a proper place to get it gassed correctly where they vacuum it down first. So, um, but yeah, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.